Uh, good morning, students. And today I am going to discuss lipids on the YouTube platform of Uttar Pradesh Rajasheet Indian Open University, Prayagraj. So, dear students, today I will discuss uh, lipids, their structure, components of the lipids, and the uses, their different forms. So, basically, lipids are made up of uh, organic compounds. Uh, organic compounds are the compounds which are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen and uh, they are basically insoluble in water and uh, they yield high energy. So, lipids are three types, uh, uh, first is triglycerols, sterols and sphingolipids. So, further I will uh, discuss in detail one by one. So, uh, this is the lipids, uh, lipids is made up of oil and fatty acid molecules, these are the contents of lipids on definition, biological importance and classification, fats and fatty acids, introduction to compound lipids, hydrophobic and hydrophilic groups, cholesterol, bile salts, micelle and bimolecular leaflet. So, further I will discuss one by one, first is introduction. Any member of a large and diverse group of oils, fats and fat like substances that occur in living systems or organism and the characteristically they are soluble in organic solvents, organic solvents, uh, but only sparingly soluble in aqueous solvents. So, according to their solubility, they will be sparingly soluble in aqueous solvents, whereas they will be soluble in organic solvents. Lipids, lipids are not polymers, but mostly small molecules, chief cellular storage form of energy. They play a very important role in cellular structure and biochemical functions, biological importance. So, we have various type of biological importance of different lipids, fat soluble vitamins, essential fatty acid contained in the fat of natural foods. They are stored in adipose tissues, thermal insulator in the subcutaneous tissues and around certain organs myelinization, electrical insulators allowing rapid propagation of depolarization waves along myelinated nerves. Next is lipoproteins, lipoproteins are made up of lipids and proteins, that is why they are known as lipoproteins. They are the combination of lipid and protein, they have important role in cellular constituents occurring both in the cell membrane and mitochondria. They have means of transporting lipid in the blood obesity, disease, mellitus, atherosclerosis, role of various polyunsaturated fatty acids in nutrition and health of living system. So, this is the <coughs> structure of lipids and, and they have different biological roles. Here we can see fat is classified into glycerol and fatty acids. This is the structure of mitochondria by the combination of ADP that is adenosine diphosphate plus IP that is inorganic phosphate, it will be converted, converted into ATP that is adenosine triphosphate. <coughs> Here O2 is converted into CO2 carbon dioxide and the fatty acid also converted into H2O. So, it act as a fuel. Here we can see it act as thermal insulator for the aquatic animals uh, like in case of this aquatic animal I mean fish. Uh, internal temperature inside it is 37 degrees Celsius, whereas the outside environment temperature will be 0 degrees Celsius. So, it maintains the temperature outside and inside. Second is the membrane, phospholipid lipid bilayer, this is the cytoplasm. So, it acts as a building blocks, here it is signaling and this is the cofactor and for visual pigment, we can use the lipid molecules and some special tasks of these things. Lipid bilayer in plasma membrane, so uh, this is outside environment, this is the thermomembranous protein and uh, here we can see so many lipid head and these are the tail of lipid molecules, so inside the cell classification of the lipids. The lipids are classified as simple lipid, complex lipid and precursor and derived lipid. Simple lipids, esters of fatty acids with various alcohols, fats, esters of 
fatty acid with glycerol ions or fats in the liquid state and the next is waxes esters of fatty acid with higher molecular weight monohydric alcohols fatty acids it is the simplest form of lipids carboxylic acid with hc side chain hc means hydrogen and carbon side chain usually they contains an even number of carbon atoms maybe it will be 14 carbon to 20 carbon it must be even carbon and the biosynthesis of fatty acids occur in sequential addition of two carbon atom chain may be saturated saturated means containing no double bonds or unsaturated containing one or more double bonds so saturation uh, will be depend on absence or presence of double bonds it occurs mainly in esterified form fats of animal origin are more simpler than that of plant origin so this is the difference between animal origin lipid molecule as well as plant origin molecule palmitic acid and stearic acid are most common lipid molecules nomenclature uh, named after corresponding hydrocarbons oic being substituted for the final e saturated acids end and anoic like uh, octanoic acid unsaturated acid with double bonds end in enoic uh, for example octa decanoic acid are uh, also known as oleic acid and uh, numbered from carboxyl carbon carbon number 1 and terminal methyl carbon is known as the omega or n carbon delta for indicating the number and position of double bond omega 9 indicates a double bond on the ninth carbon counting from the omega carbon so again here we can see these are the different structure of lipid molecules this is the glycerol molecule it is monoglycerol and diglycerol next is triglycerol and here we can see wonderful model of triglycerol here we have some residues this is the fatty acid plus glycerol molecule here we can see this the glycerol molecule having hydroxyl group and here this is the ester bonding structure present in monoglycerol in case of diglycerol it has chiral center this is the chiral center it is bonded to different uh, groups in case of triglycerol it has again chiral center this one and uh, here we can see c1 c2 c3 these are the asian number of carbon and in case of this one wonderful model of triglycerol major saturated fatty acids so here we can see <coughs> these are the common name and it indicates number of carbon atoms and we have some examples like acetic having two carbon atom major end product of carbohydrate fermentation by rumen organism rumen organism means herbivorous organism like buffalo cows goat camels etc second is propanoic it has three carbon atoms and the end product of carbohydrate fermentation by rumen organism next is uh, butyric it has four carbon atoms in certain fats in small amounts especially butter and end product of carbohydrate fermentation by rumen organism in case of valeric it has again five carbon atoms in case of caproic it has six carbon atoms next is <coughs> lauric it has 12 carbon atoms spermaceti cinnamon palm kernel coconut oils laurels butter etc next is mystic it has 14 carbon atoms it is present in nutmeg palm kernel coconut oils myrtles and butter next is pomitic it has 16 carbon atoms and the last one is stearic it has 18 carbon atoms in case of pomitic and stearic they are very common in all animal and plant fats so they are present in all animal and plant fats so next is major unsaturated fatty acids here we can see this is the number of carbon atoms and number and position of double bonds and uh, this is the common name like uh, 
telic, olic, aortic, linolenic, like this. And this is the systematic name, and this is the occurrence. In case of uh, PAMI toleic, it is present nearly in all fats. In case of olic, it is possibly the most common fatty acid in natural fats. So, for different groups, their occurrence will be also different as shown in the table. Next is unsaturated fatty acids. Fatty acids may be further subdivided as follows. First is monosaturated, monoethanoid, monomenic acids containing one double bond. Second is polysaturated or polyethanoid, polyenoic acids containing two or more double bonds. Ecosanoids, these compounds derive from ecoisa having 20 carbon atoms. Polyenoic fatty acids comprise the uh, prostanoids, leukotrienes, that is LTs. LT means leukotrienes and uh, lipo, lipoxins. Prostanoids include prostaglandins, prostacyclins, uh, and thromboxins. Next is essential fatty acids. The fatty acid cannot be synthesized by the body and therefore has to be supplied in the diet. So, fatty acid cannot be synthesized by our body. Then one can take it in a food supplement as a diet. Uh, some example like linolenic acid, linolenic acid, uh, arachidonic acid, it becomes essential like a precursor. Linolenic acid is not provided in the diet. Functions of EFA, EFA that is essential fatty acid, and uh, we have different functions of essential fatty acids. Some functions are listed below: membrane structures and functions. Next is transport of cholesterol. Next is formation of lipoprotein. Again, lipoprotein made up of lipids and protein. By the combination of lipids and protein, this molecule will be formed. Next is prevention of fatty liver. So, deficiency of essential fatty acids, then some uh, problems can be caused like uh, phrenoderma. In phrenoderma, skin will be uh, looking like a toad skin. Next is triglycerols. It is also known as triglycerides. Main storage of fatty acids, esters of the trihydric alcohol, glycerol and fatty acids. This is the structure of triglycerols. Phosphorylated on SN3 by glycerol kinase to give glycerol 3 phosphate and not glycerol 1 phosphate. Next is complex lipids. Complex lipids, it contains groups in SN2 and alcohol and uh, fatty acids. Phospholipids and addition to fatty acids, phospholipid contains an alcohol of phosphoric acid residue, may have nitrogen containing bases and other uh, substituent. Uh, example, uh, glycerol phospholipids, the alcohol is glycerol, and in sphingophospholipids, the alcohol is sphingosine. So, in different phospholipids, alcohol molecule will be different. In case of uh, glycerol phospholipids, alcohol molecule is glycerol, whereas in case of sphingophospholipids, the alcohol molecule is sphingosine. Glycolipids, glycolipids also known as glycosphingolipids, lipids containing fatty acid, sphingosine and carbohydrate. Other complex lipids, lipids such as sulfolipids and aminolipids, example uh, lipoproteins. So, lipoprotein is very important example of complex lipids. Next is phospholipid. So, this is the structure of phospholipid. Here we can see different acyl residue like uh, uh, acyl residue 1, acyl residue 2, acyl residue 3. In case of glycerol, here we can see this is the phosphatid, uh, phosphatidyl choline lysithin. Uh, this is the longest carbon chain here. In case of this one, this is again second long, uh, longest carbon chain. And in case of this carbon chain, double bond is present. So, it shows unsaturation. 
glycerophospholipids. It is also known as phosphoglycerides. Uh, it has membrane lipids in which two fatty acids are attached in ester linkages to the first and second carbon of glycerol. It is highly polar. Polar means having different type of charges. Charges means positive charge and negative charge due to the presence of positive and negative charge, polarity will be developed and the charge group is attached through a phosphodiester linkage to the third carbon. Here we can see this is the general structure of uh, glycerophospholipid. This is the head group substituent. This is the longest carbon chain and again this is the longest carbon chain in case of this chain double bond is present and it shows unsaturation this is the unsaturated fatty acids like oleic acid and in case of this carbon chain it is saturated fatty acids example palmitic acid. So, this is the glycerophospholipids structure. Glycerophospholipids, glycerol is pro chiral and the no asymmetric carbons, but attachment of phosphate at one end convert it into a chiral compound various important types of glycerophospholipids. So, we have various type of glycerophospholipids. Then it is phosphatidic acid, second is lecithin, third is cephalin, fourth is um, phosphatidyl enositol, next is phosphatidyl serine, next is plasmogens, next last is cardiolipin. So, these are the different types of glycerophospholipids. Phosphatidyl cholines, it is also known as lecithins. It is present in phospholipids of the cell membrane. Choline, choline it is a part of neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter is a kind of chemical substance which stimulate uh, nerve, nerves in the nervous system and uh, they are the component of lecithin. Dyic palmate oil lecithin is very effective surface active agent, major constituent on the, of the surfactant. In absence of dyic palmitol lecithin, it premature influence causes respiratory distress syndrome. Syndrome is a kind of complex problem which is related to the respiratory distress in case of infants. Next is phosphatidyl linositol, the precursor of second messengers, phosphatidyl inositol 4,5-bis uh, phosphate, constituent of cell membrane phospholipids. It acts upon stimulation by suitable hormones, cleaved into diglycerol and inositol triphosphate. So, function of phospholipids. So, a number of functions of uh, phospholipids like component of cell membrane both structural and regulatory functions. So, it has two type of functions like uh, structural function as well as regulatory function. Next is phospholipid in mitochondria, lecithin, cephalin and cardiolipin, it maintains ETC, ETC that is electron transport chain. Absorption of fat, transport of lipids, alkydonic acid, it serves as a precursor of various eicosanoids, cephalin, it helps in blood clotting. So, these are the different functions of phospholipids. Sphingophospholipids, it is present in large quantities in brain and nerve tissues and fatty acid, phosphoric acid, choline and a complex amino alcohol like sphingosine, no glycerol is present. So, in case of sphingophospholipids, glycerol is absent. The combination of sphingosine plus fatty acid also known as ceramide. So, ceramide is the combination of sphingosine and fatty acid and it is present in glycosphingolipids. So, this is the structure of sphingophospholipids. 
here we can see this is the ceramide sphingosine, this is phosphoric acid, uh, this is the part of choline and this is the fatty acid. So, this is the structure of sphingophospholipids. Again, we can see this is the structure of glycerol molecule here, first fatty date, next is amino alcohol or sugar molecule, here ethanolamine and lysophospholipid, sphingomyelin. So, this is the choline part. Again, here we can see different residues, acyl residue 1, acyl residue 2, in case of phosphatidate, in case of again phosphatidate, residue will be same. This is the choline molecule, this is the serine, this is ethanolamine, this is myoinositol and again here we can see amino alcohol or sugar alcohol. So, this is lipo, lysophospholipid. This is the sphingomyelin, these are the carbon chain. Glycolipids, it is widely distributed in every tissue of body, particularly in the nervous tissue such as brain, other leaflet of the plasma membrane where they contribute to cell surface carbohydrates. Example, glycosphingolipids ceramide and one or more sugars, galacto uh, sil ceramide, gangliosides. So, these are the different type of glycolipids. Next is lipoproteins. So, lipoproteins is made up of lipids and proteins by the combination of lipids and proteins they will be formed and they have different characters they are complex of lipid with protein, they transport vehicle for lipids, they are of five types. First is chylomicron, a very low density lipoprotein that is VLDL, next is low density lipoprotein LDL, next is high density lipoprotein SDL and the next one is free fatty acid complexes. So, these are the different type of lipoprotein precursor and derived lipids, these include fatty acids, glycerols, steroids, other alcohols, fatty aldehydes and ketone bodies. Hydrocarbons, hydrocarbons made up of hydrogen, carbon and oxygen mainly, lipid soluble vitamins and hormones. So, hormones and vitamins, they are biomolecules, steroids these compound containing cycling steroid nucleus. Phenanthrene nucleus A, B, C, here we can see A, B, C, D, here we have cyclic structure, we have benzene, all are fused in different positions. So, they have cyclopentane ring that is the, this is the cyclopentane ring several steroids in biological system. So, steroids have different functions and uh, first is cholesterol, bile salts, vitamin D, sex hormones, adrenocortical hormones, cardiac glycosides and alkaloids. So, these are the different types of steroids. Cholesterol, it is known as steroid, it is associated with Anthrosclerosis, precursor of large number of equally important steroids uh, having bile acids, adrenocortical hormones, sex hormones and the vitamins D that is isgosterol and cardiac glycosides. Next is cholesterol. So, it has some properties, it is alloys crystalline solid and it is insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvent. So, already I told they are insoluble in water mostly and soluble in different type of organic solvents. So, cholesterol have different functions, uh, it is present in nervous tissues and uh, insulating cover and in case of biochemical functions, it act as precursor for many biochemical substances and 
component of shell membrane. Next is bile acids. It is synthesized from the cholesterol in the liver. So, liver is very major organ in our body and it has different type of functions. It keeps bile cholesterol in a soluble state as uh, micelles and promote the digestion of lipids in the intestine. So, digestion of lipids uh, known as emulsification and for emulsification we need some emulsifier primarily bile acids like cholic acid and quino deoxycholic acid, uh, secondary bile acids like lethocholic acid and deoxycholic acid. So, these are the different bile acids. This is the structure of bile acids, this is the structure of cholic acid, it has some and the benzene ring having some OH groups. This is the keto deoxycholic acid and this is the deoxycholic acid. So, this is the structure of different type of bile acids. Micelle, lipids are insoluble in water and pre dominance of nonpolar hydrocarbons, nonpolar hydrocarbons, nonpolar hydrocarbons are the hydrocarbons having um, same type of charge having only plus plus charge or minus minus charge that is why they do not have polarity. Fatty acids, phospholipids, sphingolipids, bile salts and to a lesser extent cholesterol contain polar group both polar and nonpolar group such molecules are described as amphi, amphipathic. The word amphi, amphi means double nature, double nature means having polarity as well as non-polarity, having polar group as well as non-polar group. So, this is the structure of amphipathic lipid, this is the non-polar or hydrophobic group, hydrophobic, one is hydrophobic and uh, water repelling groups and here polar or hydrophilic groups polar means different type of charges positive as well as negative charge and it is loving with water that is hydrophilic, hydro means water, philic means loving. So, there is a attraction between water and in case of nonpolar, it has a repulsion with water. This is the lipid bilayer oil or nonpolar phase, this is the aqueous phase, this is the aqueous phase. Again, micelle, they become oriented at oil water interfaces with the polar group in the water phase and the nonpolar group in the oil phase. The basic structure in biological membranes when a critical concentration of these lipids is present in an aqueous medium they form micelles. Micelle further forms liposomes. It can be used for drug delivery, it is very important drug delivery. Next is emulsion, ointments, cancer therapy, targeted drug delivery. So, micelle can be used for the targeted drug delivery in biosystems. So, this is the structure of micelle, this is the nonpolar phase and it is aqueous phase. Again here nonpolar phase and this is the aqueous phase and this is by lipid bilayer. So, micelles has various type of function. So, students it was all about lipids, uh, their types, functions, what are the components of lipids and uh, what are the functions of lipids. So, it was detail of lipids in coming lecture I will discuss next topic. In case of any confusion you can and uh, give your response further. Thank you.